good morning everybody. Uh, this is Mahesh Mulidran, uh, your host for today. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, you are in for the UST Global and Cloudy joint webinar on uh, how do we optimize uh, digital experience and accelerating app testing using pCloudy. So again, this is the UST Global pCloudy webinar on accelerate app testing uh, with pCloudy. I'll set some uh, ground rules uh, before we uh, start off with the session. So this webinar will be recorded and will be available on demand, and you will get an email when a recording is available. All desktop and laptop participants, uh, we kindly request you to use your headsets with a microphone so that it uh, uh, stops all the background noises. Participants on audio are recommended to be mute uh, when not speaking. And I personally have muted everybody on joining in. Uh, so this will continue till the session uh, is till the Q&A. When we reach Q&A, I will allow everybody to unmute yourself. In between, if you have any questions, please use the chat window and send the questions to me privately. I'll take a note of it and I'll get them answered during the Q&A session. If you have any uh, uh, option in between uh, that you want to make an opinion on, please raise your hand and I'll allow you to unmute yourself and then we can carry on from there. Hope this is fine. An intro about our speakers for today. So we have uh, George Hamblin. So George has over three decades of uh, testing expertise in uh, testing, manage, testing and test management. He is a specialist in retail and uh, banking and financial services domain. George is a uh, senior test architect and he joined USD Global in uh, uh, January 2018 as a quality assurance thought leader. Uh, we also have Nilesh. Uh, so Nilesh has over 14 years of IT experience. He is currently the vice president of pre-sales of Cloudy. Nilesh is also the co-founder of pCloudy mobile app testing platform. And the agenda for today, so we'll start off with um, discussing about some of the recent trends uh, in uh, digital and mobility testing. We'll also speak through some of the challenges that we see across in the uh, digital testing space. We'll walk you through the UST's uh, point of view uh, and the digital testing challenges. As the next step, we'll also walk you through, uh, and I'll give you a quick overview of pCloudy. We'll take you through some good case studies on uh, where we implemented these solutions and our association with pCloudy, and we'll end with a good Q&A session. George, uh, up to you now, Pat. Thank you very much for that introduction, Mahesh. I appreciate it, and thank you, everyone, for joining today. Uh, good afternoon and good evening to folks joining in from around the world. So starting off, we want to talk about how things have changed for companies and how we look at the overall digital experience. Because what we've seen in terms of trends is how the relationship has changed between you know, the client and the customer and when it comes to technology and the, those relationships. There's the, the speed of efficiency that needs to happen in the, in the digital domain. Those things happen very quickly. Companies need to be able to respond, and they're also needing to be able to respond using the different devices and different browsers that are out there on the field. So not only does content need to be out there quickly, but the ability to change and meet the demand of all these items come together to affect the relationship between the client and the customer. So with that, there's a, a lot of uh, customization that's taking place between the client and the customer. Things are a lot more personal than they used to be when it comes to things like being able to make recommendations on things or your different accounts and whatnot. These systems are becoming incredibly complex, yet the time to market is really speeding up. So it's very important that the, the clients and the customers um, stay engaged and we move quickly to make those relationships work at the IT level because a simple mistake here or there, there, there just is no longer any loyalty to a company and people will hop around. So the question is, how do we take this forward as technologists and look within the whole digital divide, if you will, and, how, and what does that mean for being able to test? So when we talk about digital testing, one of the biggest changes I'm sure many of you have seen today is we're very product centric and agile and DevOps have really starting to take over. This puts extra pressure to QA and testing organizations because now you're, you've changed the model. QA needs to get in there earlier to be part of an agile team, which also means now they need to be more technology savvy. And when it comes to things like automation, if the QA team or test team is doing unit level, regression level, those other pieces. You know, it's now at the forefront as opposed to being on the back end. And that puts, you know, extra demand on the team. Because of the um, composite nature of these applications, um, you have systems that are coming together. Integration testing certainly is at a premium now. So you need to be able to adapt your testing accordingly. 
Um, at the same time, you also need to make sure that you cover things like your performance and your security testing, because uh, both of those are equally as critical, if not more critical, than just having the functionality right. And of course, any kind of digital downtime is, is disaster for an organization. So you need to be able to make sure that your systems are bulletproof, uh, work with all the devices and the browsers that are out there, and then be able to deliver at the speed of digital. So now it's a question of getting these releases out quickly and making sure that the QA organization itself is able to react to the speed of being able to work within digital, if it means agile, DevOps, or even some kind of hybrid between them. So <clears throat> what are the areas uh, that we're concerned about? First off, um, there's the constant device and operating system updates. How, how do I, as a test manager or test lead, uh, make sure that my devices are constantly being updated and I'm also testing on the right ones? Devices can change overnight and because Apple's maybe at the top today doesn't mean that you know, the Samsung or someone else comes along on the other side. So you need to make sure that you have all those key devices available at your fingertips and make sure that you're also testing on the right ones. At the same time, you also, if you're working within the cloud or another way of sharing devices, you need to make sure that you've got some kind of remote access into these systems. So that way you can share the devices and that way you can you have someone from testing wants to grab it for some and then development, et cetera, and be able to tie in from a remote perspective. The agile side of this now is I need to be able to test when the speed of agile, you know, being able to have devices and things at my fingertips go a lot, uh, I'll go a long way to being able to do this. And it's important that the testing team be able to keep up, you know, with the agile development, which inevitably brings us to automation, which is, Automation absolutely needs to be a part of this overall puzzle as we go forward. So all these things tie together, and that's essentially what we're going to be talking about today is, is how to move forward with this with, within the platform, the PCloud platform. So from the UST side, there, there are several things that we do, several accelerators and, <clears throat> and testing platforms that we bring in when we talk about mobility. The first off is our, our five-point mobile testing framework. It's entire framework, you know, dedicated to all things mobile. If it's on the functional side, on the security side, network interruptions, you know, all those things come into play. So we start off with knowing exactly the field that we're going to go after, and we do everything we can to characterize the application before we'd even recommend going towards a launch. There's our, our mobile coverage analyzer, which basically looks into you know, the most popular devices and makes sure that you're testing upon the most, uh, dev <clears throat> the, the most divisive, pardon me, most, most, device, most devices you can that are the most popular, you know, within, within the domain today. There's our no script framework, which is our, our scriptless automation platform, which en enables us to take automation forward. There's our expansion test automation framework, or XTEF, which is our uh, tool agnostic framework that we can go into automation so we can bring any number of tools within this platform and able to take your testing forward. There's XPath, which is our performance framework. You know, similar to XPath in the sense that this is performance related and we can do our performance testing. There's pCloudy, uh, which is our, our mobile labs partner, uh, which we're going to be talking about today in detail. And that will take us through the remote access and being able to work on the devices going forward. There's, there's a usability testing, so you can come in and do the actual user experience testing, if you will, to see if what you've designed is gonna be able to take forward. And then lastly, there's our Internet of Things framework, which essentially takes you through being able to test on, on the IoT devices and whatnot. So UST has a whole characterization platform that we can work with you on. If it's uh, from the mobility devices to the performance testing and the automation that tie in to everything you're trying to do from a mobile perspective. So our point of view is we will want to be able to empower the testers to create and execute mobility testing to virtual means in the most efficient ways possible while providing maximum device coverage through automated testing. The vision being any device at any time. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Nilesh, who's going to take us through the pCloudy platform. Thanks, George. Uh, I just need the control. Yeah. Uh, thanks, George, for setting the right context. Uh, 
and uh, walking you through the uh, challenges which we are facing for the digital and mobile testing, also the uh, accelerators which are typically used uh, for the testing. Uh, I welcome all the participants again and uh, we'll just go through the P Cloudy just to see what exactly P Cloudy is all about. Let's quickly see the uh, introduction about P Cloudy. So, yeah, at the ground level, P Cloud is basically a device cloud test platform. So you can actually access the physical uh, real uh, devices remotely and you can do a whole lot of uh, testing on those. And you can do a lot of uh, application testing on different kinds of applications. So what are all applications can be tested using P Cloudy? So you can test native applications, you can test hybrid applications, you can test mobile web applications and PWA applications. Now PWA application is something which is picking up in the market. So all these kind of applications you can use to test on a P Cloudy platform. And what different kind of testing you can perform on P Cloudy? Uh, first and foremost is of course you can do the manual testing. You can do the manual testing exactly the way you do with the device in hand as of today. The only difference is device will be available uh, remotely uh, through P Cloudy. So you can pr practically do everything what you can do with uh, the device in hand. The second part is about device analytics. Now, quite often we are seeing that once uh, we uh, get the application for testing, we start doing the testing on whatever devices we have in the hand, right? So this device analytics will give you the finite set of uh, list of devices on which you should be targeting your application testing for any given geography. So we are going to see all these things in a while, but this is what typically you can actually do it using P Cloudy. The next thing is about test automation. Now everybody is moving on the automation side. So of course, we should have the support for the automation. So here you can run the test automation on multiple devices parallelly. Now, as of now, if you're not using any such kind of platform, most of the organizations are running the test automation cases on one device at a time or serially. With the help of P Cloudy, you can run your test on multiple devices parallelly and it, it is going to save a whole lot of time and uh, time to market for your application. The last thing is about infield UX testing. Now, in our opinion, uh, the application should be tested uh, in the market by the real users, even before it is released in the market, so, so that you can get the real feedback from the market even before your application is released. You can get to see what kind of different user conditions, what kind of different mobile conditions uh, the users will be using their uh, application and the devices, right? So you get to see the infield UX testing done through P Cloudy in case you are interested in that. So I'll say it's a single stop shop where you can, you could do a whole lot of things. You can do manual testing, you get the device analytics, you get test automation, you get infield UX testing done here. Now there are two ways to access this particular uh, service or platform. One is through standard web. You can use any standard browser and you know access these particular devices to do the manual testing or test automation. The second way is of course through plugins. So in case there are white box test engineers or the developers who wants to uh, you know, uh, use this platform to debug their application or do the white box testing, they can use the plugins which is there for Android Studio and Xcode. Now, there are three primary offerings which we have at P Cloudy. The first and foremost is about public cloud. Now, what this public cloud means is basically a cloud instance which we have, which is having access globally, and we have the uh, customers accessing it across the globe. So we have 5,000 plus real device and browser combinations available with P Cloudy. We have devices with real operator SIM. So in case you want to test your application with the real uh, operator SIM, you can use these devices. And we also have three different locations where these devices are placed in the data centers, uh, namely India, US, and Australia. So in case you want to test a specific device from US, you can actually go and choose the devices from USA or India or Australia. The second offering which we have is called on-premise cloud. Now on-premise cloud is basically a dedicated cloud which we will be setting it up in the client's premises behind their firewall. So we have the uh, cloud infrastructure called these, typically these servers uh, with our software. We will come with our cloud infrastructure within your premises. We'll set up the entire cloud infrastructure within your premises behind your firewall. You can plug in the devices which you have already invested in. So basically you can leverage those devices to create a remote lab within your premises. And then the uh, uh, 
dif uh, geographically distributed testing teams or your vendors can use these devices to test your application. The third offering which we have is called private cloud. Again, this is basically a, a dedicated cloud instance, but this cloud will be maintained by us in our own uh, state of the art data centers. And we can give a dedicated set of devices attached to it. So the users will have 24 by seven access to these devices. Right. So these are the three different offerings which we have. Moving on to the next slide, which talks about can we achieve quality and speed uh, together can we can these two things go together so when it comes to mobile apps it's all about speed the mathematics of velocity matters a lot here how quickly you can make a change and let the customers experience it that that's that's the whole game plan so uh, if you see the market speed which is typically generated by the rate of customers experimentation changing behaviors and the pace of innovation which has left companies with a very simple problem how do we go faster than we ever be, uh, have uh, before without losing an eye on the quality? Right? The quality is the key here. Now, I call this uh, intersection of experience and speed, which we call it quality as speed. So it's no brainer uh, to say that, you know, quality at speed can be achieved with two uh, fundamental principles, namely agile and DevOps. And what is agile? Basically, it will allow you, allow the teams to work closely with the business and it pulls quality forward, right? You are delivering small chunks to end customers on a weekly or monthly basis. And this will allow teams to get feedback very uh, in the very early stages, yeah? Coming back to DevOps. Now DevOps brings, uh, brings you the speed. The DevOps practice uh, generally allows you to create ready to deploy code, be it uh, dev, testing, integration, or development uh, deployment. Everything is uh, continuous. You can truly have uh, multiple deployments in a day if you are using DevOps. So traditionally the term speed at quality is not used together, but we are living in a new world now, right? So questions are increasingly asked that why can't both coexist? Right, so let's find it out whether we can do that uh, typically achieving peak, uh, using peak cloudy. So there are some of the uh, challenges which uh, even uh, George has highlighted in a couple of his uh, earlier slides. So we have listed down some of the challenges here and we'll see whether these challenges can be addressed using peak cloudy. The first and foremost is talking about finding optimum device coverage. When you are talking about mobility, the most important factor in that is uh, finding the right set of devices, right? Uh, this is what we have seen in the very first slide. So. Most of the time when we get the uh, application to test, we are not very sure which devices we should be testing our application with or the test scope for that matter, right? And we always struggle to get maximum penetration in the target market. Let's say I'm uh, targeting for Australia or I'm targeting for UK. I don't know on what devices I should be testing my application and what if I do the testing and if I meet the exit criteria, I don't even know how much market penetration I have done it. Right. So these are some of the uh, challenges which we usually see it right now. You can get this information on a P cloudy platform, be it for iOS or Android. So we have something called device planner in our platform, which will uh, help you to come up with the finite set of devices. Let's say we have selected the country India. So in India, what is the uh, exact, uh, you know, uh, list of devices. These are the list of devices, top five devices, which you should be testing on your application with to uh, get the market uh, penetration. So you can see here, if I test on Xiaomi Red, Redmi 3S, I'm actually covering 4.66% of the market uh, uh, for India. So this is what uh, the recommendation you are going to get it from Peak Cloudy. The second challenge is about finding variety of devices. Now, when it comes to uh, the testing and let's say a team gets a and build to test. Now, where should I get the devices? Most of the organizations will have a small inventory of devices with them. The devices will be spread across multiple team members. And then those team members might be keeping it locked in their drawers, right? So it's always the challenge for any test engineer to go and find where I can get the device from. And believe me, uh, device cloud is the most effective, cost effective uh, way to get the uh, variety of devices. 
this is how you can go uh, going to see it now we have 500 plus devices and if you do the combination with the browsers it becomes 5000 plus uh, device combinations and browser combinations so you can see the list of devices from here you can go and acquire any device from this particular uh, page speeding up the uh, testing on cloud now we have uh, a general uh, you know uh, a norm uh, in the industry that people are saying, you know, testing on the cloud is always uh, slow, but that's not the reality. When you test on the cloud, if you are just checking a specific use case that I'm just installing the application and let's say I'm just following three steps on the application. And if you compare that with the device in hand and any uh, cloud uh, testing, then yes, I do believe that, you know, uh, cloud is a little slow as compared to the device in hand. But if you see the end to end, uh, use case and if you see what value adds uh, the cloud is bringing in then if you see the cloud uh, test uh, the testing on the device cloud is most efficient way see the uh, speeding of the testing on the cloud this is one of the example let's say you acquisition of the device is pretty simple you just need to click on the device you will acquire a device you just click on the install button we will install the application on the uh, device in this fashion you can see the application got installed if you want to see the logs it's it's no brainer you just need to click on the logs button and we will start showcasing you the logs right next to the device you don't have to connect the device to the uh, uh, you, to your workstation next if i have to just capture a screenshot it's 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 pretty simple you just need to click on the screenshot button we will capture a screenshot we will keep the screenshot next to the uh, device and then you can actually log a defect straight in your jira in case you want to log a defect in your jira you can straight away log a bug from here itself you can log a bug in your defect tracking tool we have already done the integration with uh, jira github and slack so this is what I was try trying to talk about. You know, if you see the end-to-end -end use case where a person gets a build to test and then he has to go and look for a device, then he has to connect the device to the local system, install the application through his local machine, maybe using ADB bridge or some other mechanism, then he'll start the testing, right? Once he's doing the testing, if he has to uh, capture the screenshot, if he finds some defects, he has to capture the screenshot with the inbuilt tools which is available with the device or he has to use some um, you know external tools to capture the screenshot then he has to download the entire artifact on his local system and then create a defect right that's what the end-to-end -end, uh, scenario I'm talking about so if you compare this with the uh, device testing on uh, the application testing on the cloud this is uh, almost 30 percent faster than a device uh, with the uh, with the hand Coming to the next part here, uh, if you are doing a manual testing, right? Uh, there are only two ways to do the manual testing. One is, of course, you can connect the device, uh, and get the device in hand and do the testing by connecting it to your local system. Or you can actually use the device from uh, a cloud-based uh, platform like pCloudy, right? But the whole uh, idea here with both the cases is you will be able to do the testing only on one device at a time by a person, right? So let's say your test execution is happening for one uh, one hour and you have to do it on two different devices, you you will end up spending two hours. Now, what if suppose a platform performs manual test on a different devices parallelly? If, what if suppose you can do a manual testing in a synchronized way on multiple devices? Will that uh, speed up your testing? It is pretty much. So we do have this particular feature available on this platform, which we call MultiView. Here you have to go and select the application, which is under test. You can go and select the devices. Let's say these are many devices are available. So I can go and select two devices at a time. So I've selected these two devices. And then you can see both the devices next to each other. The application will be installed on both the devices simultaneously and I can work with this master device. We can see here it says masters. You can work with this device and whatever actions you are performing on this device, whatever uh, uh, application screens are changing, the same thing will be followed by this particular device automatically. So that's why we're calling this as a, you know, uh, synchronized manual testing so you have you you will be spending only one hour of testing your application on this device and it will get tested on two different devices this and this in a way you're going to save 50 percent of your uh, manual test execution time well ai and machine learning is making a buzz in the market so mobility cannot uh, 
uh, avoid using AI or machine learning capabilities. So P Cloudy as such has uh, a capability, the uh, software bots, which is backed with the artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities, which will help you to speed up your testing by providing you the real time insights into your applications behavior and performance. Of course, uh, it will, uh, do a quick sanity of your application uh, and uh, health check of your application. And it will also provide you the detailed logs, screenshots and videos of the sessions, whatever the bots will be doing on its own. This is typically what we call autonomous testing, wherein you don't have to, you, as a user, you don't have to do any manual innovation or you don't have to write even a single line of code. This is the way you can actually, uh, you know, schedule a, a session with uh, something called Certifier, which uses the uh, bots, which is backed with the AI and artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning capabilities. So you can just go and select the application, provide the user credentials and test data in case you, your application needs that, and then just run it. Once you run this within an hour, you will get a uh, 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 report something like this. This is a summary where you can see the health check of your application, a quick sanity uh, report, quick insights about the application and so on. So you can see uh, there is something called crash test bot. There is something called exploratory bot. There are two bots which will do the testing on your application, will give you a quick sanity and the health check of your application. The next challenge which we are seeing is about increasing the test parameters. Now, uh, do you know that when we do the testing, uh, typically the functional testing, is that enough for your uh, application to be released in the market? You must be wondering what, what else we should be tested along with the functional testing. So non-functional testing plays a big role in any application testing plat, um, uh, life cycle, right? So we do have monitoring. So in case you want to monitor the application's performance, and I believe that that is something which has to be done uh, when you are doing a functional testing and you should not be waiting till the end of the application uh, testing life cycle to be used for performance testing. Of course, there will be a separate performance team who will be doing the performance testing on your application. But while doing functional testing, it is always advisable to monitor the application's performance to see how your uh, application is performing. So if you want to do this, it's pretty simple on the cloud. You just connect to the device, install your application, and then click on the analysis button here. Once you click on that, you will start seeing the performance uh, uh, metrics for your application under test. You know, you can see the memory usage, CPU usage, battery usage, data usage, everything you can actually monitor while doing normal functional testing. Now this brings in a lot of uh, value uh, to your normal functional testing. The second thing, uh, the second parameter or the dimension which comes into picture uh, in today's world when most of the applications are uh, client server applications is you have to see how your application behaves under different network conditions. So we have something called network feature which will help you to, uh, you know, simulate different network conditions uh, on the um, device and you can see how your application behaves when, uh, you know, a network changes from a good network to a bad network or bad network to a good network or you know you can throttle the different uh, network capabilities uh, like upload speed download speed delay and loss with the predefined profiles which we have in case you need something else we can actually create those profiles as well next challenge is about automation at scale so now most of the industry uh, is going towards automation and it's indeed uh, pretty important. And yeah, of course we should all move towards automation. So there are two parts to the automation when we look at the automation. One is uh, the automation test creation and the second thing is automation test execution. So when we talk about automation creation, now it's very, good idea to create the entire automation or most of the cases automate, um, uh, should be automated and then you should be using it to run it. But when it comes to automation test creation, we need uh, the right set of people, we need the right set of skill and right set of tool sets to you know, create those things. And it's a very time consuming process to maturize the test script itself takes a whole lot of time. So there is a high demand in the market which says they want a tool which can be uh, used as a codeless automation tool. They don't want to write a code, they just want to maybe, you know, uh, record the workflow and the uh, tool should be creating the test automation cases. So we do have this capability with the platform which will uh, help you to write the uh, test cases without writing a single line of code by simply recording the workflow. We will create the uh, test automation uh, suite or test, uh, test case which can actually execute it on P Cloudy devices. The second part about automation at P Cloud is you can actually run it on parallel uh, devices. 
on multiple devices parallelly. So you can actually write a test script, uh, create a test suite, and then you run that test suite on multiple devices, let's say on 10 different devices, and it will run on 10 different devices parallelly. This will save a whole lot of execution time, and you will get the report something like this. This is how you can actually get to see the uh, report which we have executed on a lot of devices. This is a, a snapshot of about codeless automation tool. So you, you can see that now in the UI, we have the device which is basically connected from the P Cloudy uh, platform. And on the left-hand side, we have a, a, a pane uh, editor where you can actually see the recorded action. So we have a record and a, uh, play button here. We, we can see when we click on the record, whenever I interact with this particular application, when I click on the accept button, this particular action is getting recorded. You can see here it says click button on accept, right? So this way it, in a plain English keyword, we will record the workflow which can be also exported to a Java format in case you are using a JUnit kind of application for your testing. The last part, uh, the last challenge uh, which we are seeing uh, in the industry is about integration with uh, mobile DevOps. Now, as we have started the presentation, which is basically talking about quality at speed and DevOps, as we know that it plays a very big uh, important role in the uh, testing life cycle. So DevOps is something which, this is how typically the DevOps uh, will be uh, uh, set up will look like in most of the uh, organizations. Now, of course, it will change a little bit based on the organization to organization, but in general, this is how the uh, UI, uh, the, the setup will look like. So typically you can see there is a developer community here who will be developing their applications and they'll also be uh, involved in the debugging of their applications uh, once they, uh, you know, check in the code, when they commit the code to GitHub, there will be an automatic trigger which will happen to the Jenkins, then Jenkins will, uh, you know, do the unit testing of those um, uh, code, uh, the test cases which is written for that particular code. It will also push the uh, application to uh, run the automation uh, regression testing, which could be APM, uh, could be Calabash, etc. And then it can also be uh, passed on to the manual testing uh, team to do the testing of manual um, uh, newly developed features and then it will be pushed to the staging right so this is how this is how typically the devops uh, looks like now if you see in this particular picture uh, p cloudy fits in at all the appropriate places so p cloudy can actually be used in the debugging mode so in case developer wants to debug their mobile applications they can straight away connect to the android or ios devices uh, remotely and do the debugging straight on the uh, p cloudy devices no need to plug in that device in their local um, drive or local uh, workstation when Jenkins triggers uh, uh, the build uh, for the unit testing, uh, P Cloudy again can come into picture because we do have a uh, capability to run the test automation on uh, Espresso and XC test. When it comes to uh, automation, uh, automating the regression testing, again, P Cloudy fits in there because we do have support for Calabash APM and even Opki, which we have seen the codeless automation tool. So it can, it can actually fit in here itself. And of course we do have a, uh, support for the manual testing. So in case uh, the manual testing team wants to test their uh, application for newly developed features, they can always use P Cloudy. So if you really look at it in the entire DevOps operation or uh, the uh, setup, P Cloudy fits in into each and every module where uh, testing or the develop, uh, debugging is required. And once this is done, of course, you can uh, push it to the staging uh, uh, environment. So with this, I would like to thank you all. I would like to give the control back to George. George, over to you. Great, <clears throat> great, thank you very much, <clears throat> Nilesh. So what I wanna do now is walk you through one of our case studies. As I mentioned earlier on, you know, we have a holistic approach when it comes to approaching mobility and, and being able to test uh, with, with companies like P Cloudy. So in this particular example, is for a large uh, telecommunications company, that we were dealing with, they um, were in a situation where they had very fast paced releases to production and the limited resources. Um, they had you know, a lot of manual regression testing and because of, it was manual, it, it cost them a lot of time and a lot of resources. And they had the hybrid apps that came along with it. So what we did was we put together an end-to-end -to -end automation process solution uh, for the client. 
you know, we did our automation prioritization tool, take a look at you know, what we could put together for those test cases, and we put a framework into place. And we did the automation of the smoke regression and the health check testing uh, for the client, as well as doing the reporting and how it tied into the overall testing. So and then we did is once we put that framework together, that's when we reached out to Peak Cloudy and we did an integration between the framework and the Peak Cloudy framework, tied it all together in the end, and then we were able to take that and then bring it into the telecommunications company CI CD process. So it pretty much ties the entire thing together from how we approach things within an agile CI CD type of model, working with Peak Cloudy, and we're able to accelerate the testing for this particular client. And we saw the benefits, you know, almost immediately with the reduction of the testing effort, the overall reduction of the testing costs, uh, which is basically, you know, almost $40,000 a year. Uh, to mention, we can now do testing in parallel, which is absolutely critical uh, for being able to work at the speed of digital disruption. So this is one example of, of how we do things, and we certainly have um, plenty of others if folks are interested. Our association with Peak Cloudy is we've been a partner since 2018. You know, we've worked um, with the cloud-based uh, mobility and browser testing as well as automation. And our focus so far has been in the telecom and retail spaces. We have, uh, have over 50 P Cloudy certified engineers on staff and over 300 mobility specialists. So, you know, ideally, you know, you know, come to us. We'll work with you on your mobility solutions and how to tie things together, you know, in a remote way using tools like P Cloudy. And what I'd like to do now is turn it back over to Nilesh, who will then walk us through a P Cloudy demo. Thanks, George. Let me just quickly share my screen and show you the demonstration. Yeah, so I'm just logging into P Cloudy. Now, uh, whatever slides we have seen, we have seen uh, some of the UI there, right? And uh, we have spoken about some of the features there. So I'm just going to show you uh, very minimal features, which will give you a insight how pCloudy can be used. So I'm just quickly uh, going directly to the devices page. Uh, this is a page where you can see the whole lot of devices. I said like 500 plus devices we have. So you can keep scrolling down from this uh, device list. We also have filters where you, which you can use to filter out the devices based on the OS versions. We support right from 4.1 to 9.0 for Android. For iOS, we support right from 8.1 to 12.2. Likewise, we have different OEMs. You can filter out the devices based on OEMs, based on different screen sizes. We support smartphones, tablets, and phablets, and also the network. So as I said, all the devices by default are connected with Wi-Fi. And there are some more devices which we do have real opto streams from all the three different locations, India, US, and Australia. Uh, also, you can go and select the devices based on different locations like India, US, and Australia. Now, I can go and select any device. Let's say I want to acquire this A9, for example. It's so simple. I just come here. I just click on this icon, and I acquire, I acquire a device. You can see now the device is getting connected, and this is how the device interaction screen will look like, where you can see the device in the center. And These are the features which I was talking about. These are the features which will bring a lot of value adds to your normal uh, functional testing. So if you want to uh, install the application, it's so simple. You just click on the install button, look for an application of your choice, which I have already uploaded to the cloud drive. Let's say Zomato and just click on install. Just by clicking install, the application will get installed on the device by the platform. And then you can see that particular application open in the device. So you can start your testing right uh, from the first instance. In this case, you can see the application got installed on the device and it's asking me to allow the device location uh, to be accessed by the application. So I just click on allow. The only difference with the device in hand and the uh, uh, device with P Cloud is you are using uh, mouse to interact with the device. I'm just getting into select city and here I have to enter this uh, city. Now, even before I enter the city and do a small logical workflow for my application testing, uh, as a user, as a uh, tester, if I have to monitor the logs next to the device, it's so simple. You just come to the top right side here, click on the logs. We are already there. Mm -hmm. Click on this icon and you can start seeing the logs here. These are all color coded logs, which you can see from the device which can be further filtered it out based on debug info warnings or errors only. Yeah, you can keep, keep scrolling down, you can pause, you can stop, you can download the logs at any given point of time. 
the second part here is all about analysis so when I click on this this is what I was talking about as an add-on uh, additional parameter when I click on analysis I can actually go and select the application which is under test in this case it is Zomato so I'm just, when I select Zomato you can start seeing here the values for the memory so this is the memory consumption by the application. So whatever information you are seeing here in terms of these graphs, these are actually the uh, values at the application level, right? So this Zomato application, since we have selected Zomato, you can see it's consuming 106 MB of memory. The CPU cycle has gone to 6% coming down, again going up, and then the continuous spikes are happening. Uh, here in this graph, you will start seeing the network usage. Since it's a client server application, you can see how much data is uploaded, how much data is downloaded by this particular application. Below that, you will see the battery capacity. So there are three lines in this, and this is a very interesting graph. This will give you the uh, battery consumption by the application. So first line, which is basically blue line, will show you the battery consumption by the device. In this case, it is 3,800 milliampere hour. The second line here is the red line, which is basically will tell you the uh, application uh, the battery consumption by the application, which is 0.233 milliampere hour in this case. And the last line here indicates the battery consumption in terms of percentage with the device and the application. So now you can clearly make out how much battery is consumed by this particular application. And if you really see the uh, market statistics, users are uninstalling the applications if their application is consuming a lot of their battery. Battery is a very vital part nowadays for the mobility. And towards the end, you can also get to see the frame rendering count, how many frames are rendered and how long it took to, you know, render those frames on the particular uh, screen. So now if I go and add maybe uh, Bangalore, the city name here, I just select Bangalore. If you're not able to read anything from the screen, we do have zoom in feature where you can zoom in the screen and you can see what exactly is happening on the device. When I click on escape, now this is the uh, functionality of the application which will start giving me the restaurants around the area where the device is physically present. So you can see here, uh, this particular device is from India Data Center, which is an uh, which is in Electronic City, Bangalore. So you can see the restaurants around that particular area. Now. Uh, today, most of the uh, applications are both client server application as well as the location aware app. So in case you are using location aware app, you can also use this location feature to, you know, uh, simulate any location on the earth. So once you click on this, we will show you Google map. You can actually go to any location on the earth mm -hmm. and simulate that location uh, to this particular device. Let's say I go to UK, get into London and I click somewhere Westminster, for example. When I click on this, the lat long information will be fetched from the graph. If you don't uh, want to do this and if you have the lat long information handy, you can also put in there directly and you say set. That's it. Once you do this, this particular geolocation will be given to the device at the API level. And when you ask the application to detect your location, you can see the device is virtually teleported to London, Victoria and the restaurants around that particular area starts appearing it here. So you can actually simulate different network uh, uh, condition, uh, different uh, geolocations on this. We also have cross browser testing, uh, which can be used to, you know, open, let's say I want to test amazon.in. This is the web uh, application I want to test. So I can actually see a different combinations of the browser. We have different browsers like Chrome, Dolphin, Firefox, Opera, UC browser. You can go and select any uh, browser with any version, right? We have multiple versions of this browser. So if I want to open Firefox 61, I just need to click this and then I launch. So on the fly, platform will install this particular uh, browser on the device and then it will launch that browser with the URL which you have entered and then you, will, you, you can start uh, you know, uh, testing your application, uh, web application on the device. Now this initially um, launching the browser may take a little while because we have to install the browser uh, on the fly uh, as per the demand. And then you can see that amazon.in is started rendering here. Now I can actually do the testing in both portrait and landscape mode if I want. Uh, let me come back to the portrait mode. And let's say I, while doing testing, I find some issue on this particular screen. Let's say this card is not as the specifications given to me, I can capture the screenshot. It's so simple, just a single click of screenshot button and we'll capture a screenshot, which is uh, which can be downloaded, deleted or edited. When I click on edit, this is how one is to one pixel screenshot along with the skin of the device will be presented to the user.
right and uh, to make it more personalized uh, you know this is the uh, I icon this is the icon which is not as per the specifications given to me so I can actually edit this I can choose the color of my choice I can change the font size if I want and then I can come here and you know highlight the area which I want to show it to the uh, development team and then save this with more meaningful name maybe wrong icon and confirm the save so this edited screenshot will start appearing it here now the next part which comes into the testing is of course I have to raise the defects in my defect tracking tool so you just need to click on collaborate we do have uh, collaboration directly done with Jira Slack and GitHub you have to indeed uh, uh, you know uh, um, log into either of these tool through pCloudy but once you do that you just click on this this is how we will show you the uh, interface from where you can uh, get to see all the projects where uh, you are given the access to you can select the issue type you can put the summary description and towards the end you say I want to attach the logs I want to attach the screenshots I have not logged into Jira but if you log in we will show you the screenshots which you have captured edited everything so you can choose the one which is more appropriate uh, uh, to you uh, for this particular defect this way you can actually raise the defect straight in you uh, straight in your Jira so these are uh, some of the uh, things which we have uh, seen in the um, uh, slide deck so I thought I'll just quickly show you so you can get a better feel of this of course uh, we don't have enough time to show and walk you through quickly uh, from the automation but yeah uh, these are the things